this one before. They say good fences make good neighbors. So true. But before you put one up, you have to plan. So here with some fence facts, Bro Laws, Dave and Joey. Hi, bros. How are you? Good to have you here. Listen, I'm glad we're talking about exteriors. We're talking about fences. Um, there are so many different options out there that you don't just have to get stuck with whatever the builder put up. Exactly. Right? <laughs> so let's actually show them some options. We've got some pictures of different fences that we want to show people. Yes. Yeah. Um, and you'll recognize, like the first one, that's actually really lovely. Yeah, <laughs> that's a beautiful cedar front fence, and that's a privacy fence. So you're not mm. seeing through that from any angle. It's completely blocked off all the way to the top. So, you know, if you're not that close with your neighbor, you can close <laughs> things right off. <laughs> exactly. Okay, let's take a look at this next uh, picture of fences that we have here. So you can see for this one, um, are we talking privacy once again? Privacy once again, and this is your option. Maybe your neighbor didn't want to throw in any coin for your fence. Right. Maybe they liked what was there before. Yes. So you can see in the top picture there, they're going to get the rails on their side of the fence. They can look at that. On your side, you get the nice solid look. You're not going to see any of the rails, and it's nice and private. And that happens a lot. It happens right? does. way too you often. have to figure that out with your neighbor. Yes. If they don't want to pay and you're yeah. going to pay for the whole thing, you've got yeah. to figure out, you know, what the compromise is going to be. Yeah, it's a dangerous line. you got to skate with your neighbor. <laughs> and then the last one is, you know, fencing has started to change things yeah. up. Vertical yeah. boards. You take that vertical board, throw it horizontal, and oh now it's gosh. a modern fence it's all of a sudden. So Just like beautiful. that. Just like that. <laughs> yeah. It's crazy how it actually does make a big impact. I mean, we joke a little bit about you're taking a vertical board and you're turning it sideways and now it's this new yeah. modern feel. <laughs> Yeah. But it actually does make a pretty big impact in that. Oh, yeah. It really does, and it's because people have just haven't been doing it that way. Exactly. So you switch it up and show it the other way, and it's like, oh my gosh, mind blown. Yeah. It's incredible. Exactly. Now, fences are typically put into the ground. You gotta dig a hole really deep, about three and a half to four feet deep. Yeah. And typically you'd fill it with concrete. Uh, but what we have here is a product that is a foam. So it's an easy kind of DIY fix. I mean, you, our, our fences have gone through a few seasons now. Maybe yeah. you're experiencing some posts that are starting to wobble starting to fall down yeah. and this is something that you can do at home just to repair that one post itself okay so you want to dig that old post out of the ground dig it down to a nice depth and then what are we talking about in terms of depth so you want to get it down to three and a half to four feet down three into the ground. Okay. Okay. You want to be below that frost line. So this is Sika Post Fix. Okay. Um, and it's nice and easy, as we say, a good DIY thing to do yeah. for yourself. So you're just going to roll up the bag. Then you're going to hear a little pop. Oh. And now you're just going to mix this up for about 20 seconds. This is science. I was science. just going to say that. This it's is exciting. magic. Yeah. And I mean, this is great for the homeowner who doesn't have a wheelbarrow, doesn't want to be lugging yes. around 60 pound bags of concrete, yeah. mixing it up. It gets messy. This, it's all contained into a bag yeah. you mix it around it's a chemical reaction that's happening in there um, and once Joey's just you get a workout too right you gotta want it. Set you gotta go down yeah you gotta go up <laughs> you gotta go down <laughs> you gotta work it work it Joe all right all right you know the other thing I was gonna say while you get that going is that concrete can actually be quite scary for people. It oh, feels yeah. very permanent. If you drop some in the wrong place and it dries up, you're worried about it. So once you got that the right consistency, you, you just pour it, it over. You pour it into the hole. How do you know that that? How does he know that that was so ready? So you go for about 20 seconds is what they suggest, and you okay. can actually feel it start to warm up in your hands as well. Oh. So that's where you can tell the chemical reaction is taking place. If you go for too long, yeah. the bag will start to explode <laughs> in your hands. So Okay. <laughs> Very important to count out that 20 seconds, and as soon as you start to feel it, have a bit of warmth. Yeah. It's like you can green see slime, it coming guys. up the front already, and it's going to take around three minutes to fully get to its height and cure. Yeah. Um, so while that's going, we've got some other stuff that we can show you here, too. I'm kind of hypnotized. Right? I know. It's science happening in front of you. That's so cool. It's growing. Um, so different types of fences, and again, kind of depends on your budget. Uh, Pressure-treated wood, which would be your typical old green fence that you'd yes. see along there, um, now has changed and you've got a nice brown look that compares to cedar. So this is cedar over here, and it's just overlapping the boards for privacy, or if you have them staggered, then it's a little bit more see-through mm -hmm. and a little more neighbor-friendly. Right. And then lattice, whoops. <laughs> 
Ah, easy ah. days. <laughs> Lattice is what you typically see on the top of the fence section. Right. So they would go across with maybe a foot of lattice across the top. Yes. But that is one of the more flimsy things of the fence that you'll typically it see is. to start break down over time. Which is why it's usually just that slat right across the top. Yes, yeah. The top. Um, it, just in terms of height, uh, if you are living in a neighborhood and you're right beside your neighbors and yeah. you want it to go a little bit higher, there are regulations on how high you're really allowed to yeah, go. Yeah, so typically you're about <laughs> six foot. So they say it okay. depends on where you are. Yes. But six foot to six foot six is where yeah. you want to land. Okay. And also, if you want to take a look, we are really filling <gasps> up here look now. Look at that. <laughs> so is that going to go all the way up to the top? It's going to go all the way up to where you need it to all go. All the way up to yeah. the top. It'll, it may spill out a bit. So then once it's hardened, you just take a, a blade and you cut out that foam. Once yes. it's uh, hardened in place, take that away. And you've got a fully supported post. Now, are you guys using this with your clients? Do you use that foam? We would use it for a post fix situation. I wouldn't necessarily use it for an entire fence section. Yes. Yeah. Um, but it's great for this application just to fix it on the go. Very cool. Um, another great thing, yeah. another good DIY thing you can do with a fence is this uh, flex flex fence system and you can just get it at any Home Depot or hardware store. Okay. Um, it's a louvered system yeah. that attaches to that and your board's going to attach to this piece here. Cool. So what's going to happen is that can now close if you don't want to see your neighbors. Oh. If you want to let some light through then you can open it up. That is so so cool. that way uh, you can kind of play with the privacy as much as you want. Yeah, so we've we got some, some shots of that as well. We do have some pictures of that. Yes. So the louvered fence is like, that's fancy. Oh yeah. <laughs> I like that. That's amazing. So there's one shot of it there. Yeah, so you can kind of switch it up, vertical, horizontal, yeah. give it different designs. One thing we definitely suggest with this is if yeah. you're gonna do a longer section, use a thicker board. Because these right. fence boards, yeah. as you get longer, they're gonna have a tendency to try to twist totally. and they can actually pop off. So if you're gonna do a longer section around yeah. six feet, use a thicker board, like a deck board or even an inch and a half. Totally yeah. makes sense. I yeah. love it. I love that stuff. Right. I love the science. <laughs>